You might be trying to figure out how you can install unsupported applications on your Android phone, meaning these are applications that maybe aren't supposed to be installed on your phone or maybe you're getting errors. So this is one thing you can try and it's actually by using a few different sources. One of these sources is actually a website called APK Pure. Now I, I've actually used this website quite a bit. It's kind of okay. I mean, it gets the job done. It's still kind of trash in some areas. Like I do feel like they could have done a better job in some areas too. But essentially what you can do here is let's say Roblox, right? It's one of those you know applications that you can't download on your specific device. Maybe it's unsupported. But what you can try doing is try going to this website, like I said, APK, apkpure.com. And what you can do here is you can download the APK file. So what you can try doing is just going by Clicking on download APK file, you may get a little bit of an ad or a pop-up. You just want to exit out of it. And you have a few different options. You can download it via the APK or APK Peer website, whatever. But you can also download this the APK file. So now as you can see, you might get this pop-up that says the download's harmful. You could download it anyway. I would recommend doing your research, making sure this website is you know good and everything. I haven't had any issues here yet. And once this file is downloaded, you can go and click on details. And once the specific APK is downloaded, you will then be able to install it just like any other APK file. So this specific file was 116 megabytes, so it's kind of big. So we'll just give it a second. And essentially all you have to do is once it's actually downloaded, so you can see it's going to take another 20 seconds or something, all you have to do then is go ahead and just tap on that APK file and it will actually go ahead and install. Now, that is pretty much how it's done, and that's pretty much how it's always done. So, that is basically how you can do it. And if you have, if you run into any other issues, you can also just go through back into that APK website, and you can just go ahead and download another file if you need to. And that is basically basically the main way to do it. So, tap on this file, you can go and get into your settings, you can go and enable it, go back, you can go and enable it, go back, and you should be able to have it there. You can install it, you can update it or install it, whatever you want to, and that is pretty much how it's done. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.